Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, um, real quick, uh, you if you watched the last video, right at the end of it we tested Skyrim and we did get a map error. And I said I would look into it, I did look into it, and in fact, that's okay. Uh, it turns out that that's expected. You can, uh, it's just a warning, it's just basically Skyrim complaining that its map has been overwritten with something else. So under Sky UI, if we go into the menu, you'll see here advanced panel, Sky SWF checking, version checking section, map menu. We're going to disable that because so that error doesn't come up. So the next time we're in the game, um, you guys remind me and I'll, I'll disable that uh, early. This is way down at the bottom of the guide here. Um, but we'll, we'll go ahead and do it now so that the, um, the game doesn't keep complaining at us. So let's continue on. Where were we? We were at 4.5 something. Yes, we were here. I think the last thing we did was the TES5 LOD Gen Vert SFO, which is this guy right here. So we're going on to world expansions. Now this is a big one. These guys, Falksar, let's see if I can say this, Falk, Falskar, <laughs> and Worm's Tooth. Worm's Tooth I can say. Um, we're going to go ahead and install both these world expansions. we got to process through DD, DDS opt. Okay. So yeah. Uh, let's first of all go ahead and get this installed. One, two, one, finals, or we're after. So go to files. One point two one final. Um, we'll go ahead and install with manager. All right. So that should be going. So we'll let that go. Okay, guys. Um, you can see this is just about done. This is taking quite a long time. So while that's going, um, we're going to have to to do the DDS opt up processing, um, which means we're going to have to set this up. We didn't actually ever quite finish setting up uh, DDS opt. You remember uh, way up towards the top when we downloaded the tools, there was, should have been something in here about configuring, um, optimizing the Bethesda textures, make sure the DDS opt is configured for the prerequisites section. So back up in here, right here. So the DDS opt pre-release update configuration in INI. If you go to this page, this brings you to this thing. And we, you remember we had done all this bit where we had overwritten the DDS opt INI file. But what we didn't do is we didn't really set up the kind of the defaults that we want here. So and hopefully these settings stick. I don't know that for a fact. But um, we're going to run uh, DDS opt. Where did it go? Okay, guys, I seem to have lost my DDS opt icon. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't see it. I'm sure we set one up, but let's, that's all right. We'll go ahead and set it up again. Um, so I'm going to go to F drive, DDS opt. Yeah, see, it's a shortcut right there. I know for a fact that we set this up. All right, I'm going to drag this back out here again. Uh, create a shortcut here. It's so weird that it disappeared on me like that. And then we're going to hit F2. I'm going to read all this other stuff such. Um, I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to go to properties and we're going to go to compatibility and run this program as administrator. Make sure that's checked. It seems to be. So hit OK. Let's go ahead and run that. There we go. All right. So let's grab our web page. I'm going to reduce this a little bit. We're going to set up these these settings real quick. So under um, behave textures, make sure these are set up right. Looks like everything here is fine. Set up the way we want it. Uh, apply. That uh, looks good. So that seems to be so far so good actually. Uh, ignore. Uh, we're going to turn this one off. Must have. I'm going to turn this one on. So that should look like that. Looks good to me. Uh, compression. Um, we're going to go 10 maximum. Looks good. Settings. Um, we're going to turn on skip broken files. So it should look like such. 
constraints. So under the constraints tab. Okay, let's see. Let's make sure everything's set up right here. This looks good. This looks good. Uh, L8. A, okay. 8192, This looks all fine. Okay, I'm going to leave that because I think this is the one you set um, when you're actually doing the files. Okay, so I'm going to leave that alone. Alternate constraints. Okay, this is an alternate version. Oh, they're going to do uh, DXTs across the board. We'll just leave the, the standard. Okay, the behave menu settings. So we go back to behave again. Textures again. This thing's getting in the way. What a pain. Behave, textures, normal map 1.7. Looks good to me. Okay, behave foliage maps. Let's move this over a little bit. Behave, textures, foliage. Uh, set to 2.0. Looks good. Behave color maps. Behave textures color maps. Color map gamma set to G2.2. Very nice. And behave alpha maps. Uh, set to 1.5. Yep, looks good. Okay, I think that's all we. Ooh. That was interesting. That's all we need. Um, this is all descriptional stuff. Um, this talks about the, the initialization files. Um, before any processing the program is deployed to a valid location, etc., etc. Okay, I'm going to leave that up. So this is done. Let's go ahead and install. We'll do manual. Let's go back to my where we were, which is going to be this one. Okay, uh, we're not going to install the README text, so that's cool. Yep, everything else is good. Go ahead and install. It should take a minute. Okay, guys, so there you go. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. Look where it ended up, way up here. Huh, interesting. Interesting. But okay. Okay, now, here we go. We have to optimize this. This is the first time we've actually done this manually. Let's go ahead and go to the guide, and I'll show you guys what we're about to do. This is, it looks uh, kind of intimidating, I suppose, um, but it's really, it's not that bad. And actually, I'll show you what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and pop open our DDO, DDS opt. And I've got the 64-bit version. Hit yes. This may go to the last thing that I had loaded, which is going to, in fact, be this mod. Yeah, it sure did. That's okay. I'll, I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. Okay, I'm going to minimize this so we have both things up. So run DDS script, run through administrator, click the browse button near the top text box, and select the mod folder to, op to optimize. So in my case, guys, if you go to your mod organizer, and you go to mods, and then you go to Falksar, that's the one we want. So we're going to say use folder. Okay. It's going to pull up the file list. There we go. Now for the output folder, you're going to do the same thing. Now in my case, again, mod organizer, mods, Falksar. I'm going to say use folder. Um, oh, I gotta wait for this thing to stop goofing around. It's gonna re-update again. But I'm gonna add the word opt. It's easy to miss this. So, mod organizer path mods mods to be optimized optimized. So we want to put optimized down here. Okay. So there you go. So we want to make sure you got the show recursive box turned on. So we're gonna click the red X to deselect all the files. Okay, in the center box, we're going to type in asterisk.dds and hit apply. That gives you all the DDS files. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit the green check mark to select all those. Now we want to deselect the normal maps. Now, in all honesty, guys, this actually is kind of an extra step. We don't really need to do this because here we're going to 
Uh, where is it? Up. Oh, we lost it. Where did it go? There we are. Here we're going to treat everything the same as 8192 by 8192. So we're going to do the normal maps and this kind of all at the same time. It's not really necessary to do them in two steps, but just for the sake of following the guide, I'm going to go ahead and hit dash n dot dds and hit apply. And then we're going to deselect all those. Okay, and then the other thing we're going to deselect is the MSN files. So, um, MSN, apply, and this one I don't think has any. I don't actually honestly know what an MSN file is. It might be a form of a normal map. I'm not really sure. So I'm going to delete that, and then I'm going to hit apply so we get everything back in the, in the box again. And we should have just the DDS files that are not normal maps selected. So if you look... Um, there's our DDS files, and there you go. So the normal maps are not selected, but the the regular DDS files are selected. Those are our texture files. Okay. Um, so in the constraints tab, we're going to make sure we're set to 8192 and both compressed and uncompressed. And we're going to hit process. Okay. So now we're going to go back to the browser again. This time, let's see, we want to the normal maps. We're going to deselect all the files. Um, I'm going to hit star dot dash n dot, no, oh, too many dots, not dot, asterisk dash n dot dds. That's what we want, right? Should be. Yes. Hit apply. We will select all those. Now, I think we already determined there's no MS and files. So there's nothing really to do here. We'll take all that off, apply. So at this point, we should have only the normal maps selected. So we go down to the normal maps, and there you go. That cross through, what that means is this file would be overwritten if we had it selected, but we don't. Okay. So it's all good. So yeah, all good. Oh, in fact, actually, we wanted to select all the MSN files with the green check mark. Hmm, interesting. Nevertheless, there weren't any, so I'm not going to worry about it. So the constraints tab is the same. Go ahead and process. Okay, and there you go, guys. So what we've ended up with here, if we go to our F drive, and we go to Mod Organizer, and we go to Mods, and we go to Volcazar Optimized, there you go. you got all these textures, which are... <laughs> if you dig down into all this stuff... For goodness sakes. There you go. There's all your uh, optimized textures. The trees. Objects. Some of these things. Some of it will pull up. Some of it won't. Not really sure why. There you go. Alright. Okay. So we're done with DDO, DDS opt. We'll close that down. Uh, we were supposed to select the 8190. It was already selected, guys, for the resolution limits. Uh, we didn't change it. So we closed that. Uh, Right-click the Mod Organizer list and select Refresh. So, let's see, I believe it's actually a little bit misleading because you have to go to All Mods and then Refresh. And I sh there it is, Falcazar Optimized. And we should just be turning that on. Uh, drag the newly created mod optimized directly above the original mod and activate it. So that's what we'll do. It's already right below it, so we'll just go ahead and turn it on. And it's just textures, so there's nothing to, uh, there's no ESM or ESP to, to turn on. Okay, so there you go. That's how you do that. Um, really not as bad as it, it seems. It, it does, it's a little bit time consuming, but nevertheless. Okay, let's go ahead and install Worm's Tooth, which is a, um, it's another area of, of the game. And again, we're going to have to do the DDS optimization deal so let's go ahead and go down to the files we want version 1.16 there we go so let's make sure that's going all right guys we'll let that go okay guys so the files downloaded let's go ahead and install I'm going to do a manual, and it said the special instructions told us to not install the README text, which is sure. I don't need 
that. Go ahead and install. Okay, uh, so we'll go ahead and turn that on. Worm's tooth, which installed right way up here. All right, guys, same deal. We're going to go ahead and run. Let's see. Let's check our instructions. Let's make sure we don't mess anything up. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and run DDS opt. Just here. Yes, please. And pull open our web page. So again, we'll go to the guide. Okay, so let's go ahead and browse. We're going to go to, um, not Falkasar, instead we're going to go to, what was it called? Uh, shoot, I've forgotten what it was called. Worm's Tooth. Sorry, yes, Worm's Tooth. That's the one right there, use folder. And then, okay, dude, come on. Uh, browse this one, and mods. Let's do the, oh, look at that. Hmm. Use folder. Op. Optimized. Okay. Go ahead and let that refresh. Okay, guys, same deal. Um, all 8192 by 8192. Uh, I guess for this time, I'll go ahead and do them separately the way he says to do it, just for the sake of following the guide. So we'll turn off all that. And then I'm going to go uh, star.dds, apply, we'll turn on all that, and then we're going to go star-n, apply, we'll turn off all that, and we'll also go msn, dds, apply, there are none, so we'll clear this out, apply that, and we should just have the texture files, the dds files. Okay, make sure our constraints say 8192 by 8192 for both. Looks good, looks good. Process. You can see that second green bar at the bottom, guys, is um, kind of the optimization level. So we're getting maybe, oh, 15, 20%, although it's getting less optimized as, as it goes. All right, there you go. Okay, I'm going to, let's go ahead and turn everything off. I'm going to go star dash n dot dds. Apply that. Go ahead and select all those. And go ahead and select msn. Apply that. And if there was anything here, we would hit the green check mark to select those. So then we'll clear the filter and apply that. And we should just have the normal maps, which it looks like we do. So it's all good. Looks good. Go ahead and process that. Looks like we're getting. Well, we were getting nice optimization. <laughs> now it's going back up again, but. All right, very good. So at this point, guys, you're supposed to make sure these are both set to 8192 before you close this up. So we're good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. So we'll hit right click here, all mods, refresh. Worms tooth optimize comes up. Go ahead and turn it on. And there you go. Should be under here. Of course, yeah, it's not gonna show up because this is just textures. Uh, this should have a minus that pops in. There it goes. I knew it was coming. Okay, very good. Uh, maybe I should explain this because um, you guys might not understand why things are going red here. If I hit a mod that has a negative, like a, you see this little minus sign, anything under it will turn red that is overriding that mod. So right now, if I were to turn, I could I could see that the unmanaged high-res texture pack 2 is overriding something in the DLC standard part 1. Okay, that's what that means. Um, so all these sets of files are overriding something in Dragonborn. Okay, that's all it means. It, it, it's nothing to worry about. It's, it's supposed to do that. If, in fact, I go ahead and select this. This will turn green. Because what it's saying is this particular mod is overriding something in Sky UI. And in fact, what it's overriding, in fact, is uh, the map markers. Okay, that's all that means. Anyway, okay, I think, guys, we're pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and run loot. I know we've only installed two mods, but they were big mods. And uh, I think we'll stop with the mod installations because we had to do all that optimization. It's, it's kind of a big deal. Let's go ahead and sort just to make sure everything is the way it's meant to be. should be. It's all good. 
You can see Falcasar and Wormstooth are way up here. Um, in fact, it's putting them in, in top of EFF core. Whereas EFF core is on top on this side. So let's go ahead and apply that. It's an interesting little effect. I wonder if that's going to change that. Yep, it sure is. Look at that. Huh. Very cool. That's how you know the loot's working. Okay, let's go ahead and run the game and make sure everything's fine. Okay guys, there you go. Looks pretty good. Let's make sure we can spin without any kind of jerkiness. Looks like we can. Still see ourselves. We can't really check those mods because they're they're world mods again. We would have to go out and find them. Um, you guys remember here? Let me show it to you. Uh, if I pull up the map, we're gonna get an error. Uh, this SFW or SWF file mismatch. That's normal. That's to be expected. Uh, we're gonna turn off that warning right now because I said I was gonna do it. In fact, so let's go to the MCM. We'll go to should be under Sky UI. And probably, I'm guessing it's under advanced. Yes, there it is, map menu. I'm gonna turn that little guy off right there. So the game doesn't freak out every time I, I pull that up. Okay, so that's good. I wonder if I have to save the game for that to, take, to, to stick. I don't know, shouldn't have to. Anyway. So it would kind of appear that everything's running okay. Doesn't look like we have any new things here, which okay, sure. Uh, let's look under settings. Yeah, it's all fine. All right, um, everything looks fine. I think we're doing well. Okay, guys, I'm gonna stop here. I know we again. I know we only did two mods, but they were big ones, and we had to do all that optimization stuff. So it took up a lot of time. So, yeah. I think we're doing well. All right, gang, I'll stop here and we'll pick this up in the next video. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.